What's up? Matt, ESC United, your favorite Eurovision channel, and today we're going to talk about Slovenia. EMA EMA 2020 took place tonight, where 12 songs battled it out, and only one song gets to represent Slovenia at Eurovision 2020 in Rotterdam. And we do have a winner. First of all, though, I want to say I just don't understand the show. We have 12 songs in the running, but only two will move on to the Super Final. A three panel, uh, three jury members will de or did decide on the two finalists. The televoters had no say whatsoever. It seems like such a waste of time and opportunity. They should have a say, but I digress. I, I just get always so upset when I see that. Um, but in the end, we had the super finalists and the voters decided. Anna Soklic, Soklik, Soklic, Slakik, and the song Voda will well they won and i did a video a few days ago you can watch it up there somewhere um where i listened to the 30 second snippets but it was so difficult to judge them but my first impression was that this one could be a good song i think i put it in second place so i am curious to see how the whole product sounds like because i remember it being a very good chorus with a big long note but that's all i remember right now so i'm gonna listen to it for the first time in full and share with you my thoughts how does that sound anyway let's talk eurovision i love the beginning oh i love the first few seconds so yeah Sounds like this song is going to be completely in Slovenian, which is exciting. I'm always in favor of more languages, unless she's going to translate it, but we shall see. Her voice, I said it before, her voice is so unexpected. Like when you look at her, that's not the sound you would expect, which I actually find mostly endearing. Okay, so I have a little issue here. I remember vaguely the chorus which was grand, but this is a long-ass verse. Yes. Ugh. This moment is where it starts. The verses are too long. Oh, the verse, I should say. Yes, I remember this chorus. So powerful, so hypnotizing, so impactful. This is the best part of it, about it. I just love the feel of the song. I love the mood. I'm mesmerized by just the whole thing. Yet I keep saying the verses are boring. Is there time for a revamp? Oh, it's even better, it's, ugh. Oh. I love this. Oh, it goes right underneath your skin. Gives you goosebumps, makes your hair stand up. Mm -hmm. Give me a big note. Left that part. This is a good song. We get a lot of ballads this year, it seems, but um, this is good. This will stand out. All right. Let's talk about this. All right, everyone, let's talk this through. I have a lot of thoughts and so little time, but there are so many adjectives I want to use to describe the song because it is very different. The sound is very different from what we usually get, and that is a good thing. It's mesmerizing, it's hypnotic, it's unique, it's a mood, and I use that a lot. And it's so powerful, the chorus just really goes underneath your skin, it makes your, you know, it gives you goosebumps, and I love that moment. Her voice, Anna's voice, is unique. That sound, it's like, it just really creates something special. And I'm a big, big fan of the overall concept here. So, I don't know how much time you guys have left and if you even would consider it, but please, please, please reconsider to do a revamp. And by that I mean fix the long, long, unneeded verses, especially the very first verse. The chorus doesn't even start until like almost half into the song, like what, after one minute and 20 seconds? That's when we start with the chorus. It is 
too long. The verses themselves are not that strong, that powerful, so I drifted off. I got boring. I need to at least shave off, like, I don't know, 15 to 20 seconds from the first verse, and then instead add in a short bridge or an instrumental part, something that really helps with the flow and you don't get bored. Because by the time the chorus kicks in, which is so powerful and magical, it almost feels as people may have lost interest by then. And that is a very dangerous thing. So please, please, my, I'm begging you, I'm begging you, consider fixing these little things. You have a little bit of time left, so it's never too late. Because I think you got a little pearl here if you play your cards right. I really like the song, and um, it would be wonderful if you can fix that. Maybe it's just me. I would love to hear from you as well. That is the biggest issue I have with this. But this would stand out. It's not the kind of sound that you hear a whole lot like in the charts. It doesn't feel very Western, the song. And that's a good thing because I do like some magical music that really set itself apart. And if you have that unique piece that is n sounds like nothing else in the running, that can work in your favor. So I am a fan of this piece. I would be an even bigger fan if you can fix it because this is a big issue I see in my view because everything else is almost perfect. <laughs> but this big flaw could be a deal breaker almost. So hopefully, hopefully you understand where I'm coming from. It comes from a place of love. So what do you guys think? Did you like the song like I did or did you agree with my criticism or is that the part you like the best? I still think the verses are the weakest aspect of the song. But leave your thoughts below. Tell me why I'm wrong or tell me why I'm right or whatever. Would love to hear. Um, subscribe as well if you haven't done so already. And like that video for crying out loud. I need likes or dislikes as well, but I prefer likes. Anyway, I gotta go. Have a good day. Have a good night. Have a good whatever.